Welcome to our channel Science of Life and this is Preeti your science mentor and today we are going to study about the food and its sources. We eat different varieties of food in our life that is like pizza, chapati, paneer ki sabzi, butter chicken and soup, lots of things. Have you ever thought that why do we eat this food? Only for taste purpose or any other reason? I will show you an example then you will get to know. Look at the screen. Here one smartphone is there. Nowadays we all are having the smartphone and we use this for various purposes like chatting, messaging, uh, calling and video chatting. Lots of things we are doing. We are watching movies on smartphones. Now when we are using smartphone this much then after some time its battery become dead. Then what we have to do? We have to charge it and if we are not charging it then we won't be able to use the smartphone again. Now you get to know my point that is our body need to be recharged with the help of food. So food recharges our body to do lots of work again and again. So let's discuss the functions of the food. Why do we eat food? First function of the food is that we need food to get energy and become powerful. Second important function of the food is that food help us in growth of the body. So we need food. Third important function of the food is that it help us to repair all the worn out tissues. Means if we are having any kind of injury, any uh, wounds that will be repaired with the help of food. And last but not least is that food help us to improve the immunity of our body and it help us to fight against infections. So now you get to know that food is not only for taste, it is very very helpful for us. Now if this food is very much helpful for us, then from where do we get this food? I mean to say the resources of the food. We get food from two sources that are plants and animals. Now let's discuss them one by one. First one is plants. In plants, when we talk about the plants, we eat different parts of different plants not only one thing see first of all let's come to the seeds we eat seeds of lots of plants example wheat rice pulses cereals second is leaves we also used to eat leaves of the plants like spinach mint coriander third one is stems we also eat stems uh, like sugarcane potato these are the stems that we eat now coming to the roots, we also eat roots of the plants. Yes, that is uh, radish, beetroot, carrot. These are the roots that we use to eat in salads as well as in vegetables also. Next category is fruits. We know lots of fruits are there. For example, banana, uh, strawberries, mangoes, my favorite. Next category is flowers. We also eat flowers of the plant. For example, cauliflower, broccoli. So my dear students, not only a single part, we used to eat different parts of the plant. There are lots of edible parts of the plant that we have discussed already. So plants are very important for us. Now coming to the animals. From animals we get milk and lots of milk products are made out of that. That is butter, cheese, ghee, cream. And from where do we get milk? We get milk from cows, buffaloes, yak and goat. Second one is honey. We get honey from honeybees, nectar of the honeybees. Honeybees used to take nectar from the flowers and, they, and then they make honey and we get honey. And next one is meat and eggs. We get meat and eggs from sheep, hen, fish. So these are the animal foods. Now one more thing I would like to tell you about the food that is mushroom. Mushroom is the edible thing but mushroom is neither plant nor animal. Yes, mushroom is a fungi which is edible and your favorite also. So my dear students, now you get to know that we used to eat food not only for taste but there are lots of functions of food that is very important for us and the sources of food, all the plant parts as well as animals from where we get the food. So my dear students, if you are having any doubt then comment me in the commenting box. Till then, stay healthy, keep learning.